What's up YouTube? It is Veronica, also known as She Sings Love, and I am going to do the natural hair tag today. It's actually one I just found on Google. Just wanted to do it because I've never done it before. And um, nobody tagged me, but I tagged myself. Um, actually, my friend suggested that I did it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, I've not even read these questions, so we're gonna get right into it because I don't want this video to be super long. All right, here we go. Question number one, why did you start taking better care of your hair? Um, I started taking better care of my hair because I saw like pictures of celebrities, honestly, like um, Tracy Ellis Ross and her beautiful big hair. And it was just something that I really wanted. Like I just wanted to have big curly hair. So I kind of view this question as why did you start going natural? Um, and yeah, it's because I wanted big hair. I'm just gonna be honest, like, I was the relaxer queen. If anybody knew me in college especially, I did not believe in natural hair. I was Mrs. Relaxer, slick, laid, and slayed. Yes, so I actually went natural just because I wanted to change up my look. Number two, what are your favorite, your two favorite hair products? Okay, that's a hard one. Um, so I'm gonna say my first is Camille Robes Naturals Almond Dry Twisting Butter. That's my, I have to have. Gosh, I mean, it's not fair for them to ask for you to just narrow it down to two natural hair products. Okay, so Camille Rose Naturals and Eco Styler Gel, I guess, because how will I ever, you know, have a slick hairstyle without it? I don't know, I have a ton of favorites, but whatever. Number three, whose hair did you admire as a child? Um, I admired this girl in my class in elementary school her name was morgan and now that i think about it her hair probably was natural but i used to always want hair like hers because it was super long she used to have the little bows and her little twists um you know like the little ponytails and they were super long i was jealous i wanted my hair to be that long number four what is your ultimate goal length um ankle length just kidding um I would like for my hair to be waist length yeah I would like for my hair to be waist length um, or as long as it can go you know I'm actually you know what waist length is enough you know I'm not trying to have hair down my entire body I don't even have time for my hair now and it's like barely bra strap strap length it's barely bra strap length my goodness um so yeah I would want waist length hair for sure how are you going to celebrate when you reach your ultimate goal? Oh honey, it will be flat ironed and flowing. That's one, um, for sure. It will be flat ironed, that, that's my celebration. I'm gonna flat iron it, yes. Let's see, number six, two styles you want to try at your goal length. Well, one is flat ironing of course, and then I would probably do like bantu knots or um, the little, what the little curling iron thing, the curling wand, something like that, like some beach waves. Number seven, which do you prefer, health or length? I prefer both, not even gonna lie. Um, but if my hair was long and unhealthy, I would cut it. So I guess that would be health. If I had to choose one, it would definitely be health. Number eight, which do you prefer? Hair ties with no metal parts or butterfly clips? What's a butterfly clip? Is that what you use to section your hair? Like why would I? Okay. I'm gonna say hair ties. Hair ties with no metal clips. Number nine, what products do you prefer? Um, I don't know what that question means. Like do I prefer a certain type of product over another? What are my favorites? Um, I'm gonna say I prefer natural hair products. Number 10, which product slash technique do you think is overrated? Um, what's overrated? Flat ironing is overrated. I guess I didn't ask for a hairstyle. I do think flat ironing is overrated. I love it, but it's not worth losing them curls, girl. It's not worth them looser curls, them, them stringy ends. It's not worth it. So flat ironing is overrated. Number 11, which technique or product do you think is underrated? Um, what's underrated? Hmm. I have 
no idea. That's a hard one, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Number 12, what is your favorite part of your hair regimen? My favorite part of my hair regimen is probably the takedown. So like taking down my twists or braids or whatever I have and seeing that first day beautiful defined hair, that is my favorite part. Number 13, what is the most annoying part of your hair regimen? Um, detangling. It's so irritating and it takes too long and all the hot water be running out in the shower. I can't stand it definitely. Number 14, oils or butters? Um, I'll say oils. Number 15, buns or ponytails? Ponytails. And I choose, I like both, but I choose ponytails over a bun because I like my curls to hang out. Um, wigs, number, number 16, wigs or weaves? I don't wear either. Um, if I had to choose, I'd probably say wigs. I've never tried a wig, but I've had a weave before. But um, hubby's not going for it, so neither. Braids. Number 17, what is your opinion of growth aids? Um, I've never tried growth aids. The only growth aid I had was my prenatal vitamins in my pregnancy. That's the aid that got me the growth that I got. Um, but I've never tried them. Nothing against them, though. Number 18, at what length do you consider your hair long? I would say bra strap length for sure because if it ain't to your bra, and this is just for me personally, like when I pull my hair down and it's not getting to my armpit slash bra area, it's just like regular. That's like regular length to me, but that's only my personal thing. When is the last time you visited a salon? So I did straighten my hair in October. Um, but I did that myself and then I realized I needed a trim. So I asked my mom stylist to just trim me up real quick. Like it literally took her 10 minutes. I just walked in there and asked. So I wouldn't consider that. But before that, I would say May 2016, I went and got my hair trimmed uh, before I put braids in it. So does that count if you're just going to get your hair trimmed? Um, before that, I have no idea when I went to the salon before that. I do my own hair, every single hairstyle. Um, before that, I don't know, I don't know. This natural life saves the coin, okay? Number 20, what do you like to surf most on? YouTube channels, personal blogs, or hair forums? YouTube, I love watching YouTube videos. Not really sure what this has to do with hair, but I love watching YouTube videos, hair videos, mom videos, cleaning videos, um, the real daytime. I love YouTube. YouTube is legit. I'd be looking up tutorials on how to use different programs and softwares. Love YouTube, life changing. YouTube University. And the last question, number 21, what piece of advice would you give to someone just starting out on their hair journey? So what I would say to somebody that's just starting out, I would say you have to keep trying. So, you know, like you watch all these videos, you see all these hair vloggers and all these different people with these awesome natural hairstyles and you're relaxed or you're transitioning or you're just becoming natural and you're thinking your hair is going to look like theirs. Girl, get that out of your head right now. And just know like even I, when I first started, I my first twist out was a mess. It was not cute. I'll see if I can post a picture of it, but it was so tiny and shrunken. I could not believe it. So definitely just keep trying. That is the piece of advice that I would give to somebody just starting out know that your hair is your hair don't expect it to look like anyone else's and keep trying you may have to do that twist out 20 times before you get it right you may have to try 20 different products before you find what you like that's just a part of the journey and yeah so that was it that was the natural hair tag video i hope you guys enjoyed this please tune into my next video check out some old videos and subscribe thank you see you soon